What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Robert Linkle with TrainingTheOlderAdult.com. I want to talk to you today a little bit about cognitive training. Now, there's all forms and variations and ways that you can incorporate and include cognitive training into your resistance training programs. And I just want to share with you an example of one. So this is a workout that we did today where we focused on three exercises, all lower body, and then we did three others, um, upper body afterwards. But each exercise has a color coordination to the rep count and it changes with every round. So for example, the first round, kettlebell swings in blue, coordinated with the 10 in the, that first column at the top left. So they had 10 kettlebell swings. Then they had eight kettlebell goblet squats, black and black. And then they had six band and or kettlebell drop step lunges on each leg, pink and pink. The next round they had back to the top, blue, 15 kettlebell swings, black, 10 kettlebell goblet squats, and pink, nine band or kettlebell drop step lunges on each leg. And they continued to work their way across. Now, one more thing that we included in this was a variation of load. The kettlebell, you see the big H next to it, means that you're using the heavy kettlebell. The medium, M, medium load for the black, and then the L, light, for the pink. So every exercise, basically I took them through the first round and did what I just told you. Heavy, blue, 10. Medium, eight, black, light, pink, six, okay? And so I would go through that and light, pink, six, yeah. And so we would go through that the first round, a little bit in the second, and then I would say, you're on your own. So here's what I need. I need you to come back to the screen, to the board, wherever you're supporting, uh, supplying your, your info, and I need you to find what's the exercise, what's the color, and what weight do I use, okay? And then even with the color, you have to go, what does the color represent? Let me go find my rep count. So really you're going exercise, color, rep count, load. Exercise, rep count, color, load, and so on. And we continue to feed that all the way through the workout three, six, nine, 12, 15 times. So when we talk about getting a cognitive buy-in with your clientele, with your, your customers, the people that you are wanting to be present, as opposed to doing something called ushering, what I call, where you're just like, here we go to the next one, I'll count for you, or I'll tell you when to go and when to stop, rotate, go to the next station. There's nothing wrong with doing that on occasion, but if that's what you do all the time, where is the cognitive buy-in? Where are people going to go, I need to be mentally present mentally aware, learn the exercises. Cause I don't want to have to 10 years later, people go, what's a goblet squat? What's a bench press? Like if you're, you know, implementing something brand new and you're like, we're going to do a 180 degree single arm, one eye closed isometric, uh, you know what? Yeah. I'm just making up stuff. You're going to do something like that. Then they'll be like, okay, how do I do that again? But for the basics, okay. These are all things that we do all the time. They should know those. They should be able to tell the colors. They should be able to find the reps and then select the load. And so there's a lot of cognitive buy-in that you can get here to make your people be present. We don't want to have another hour of their day. Not that this, everybody's just sitting around, but with watching TV or something, we want to have something where you have to be mentally present just as much as physically present. Okay. There are other variations. I'll share more of those with you in the future, but this one is one that we get a lot of cognitive buy-in with our clientele. They love it. They know what they're doing. They know and they feel like they're learning at the same time of physically getting better. If you have any qu comments or questions, feel free, send them down below, post down below, and I will get back to you. Robert Linkle, trainingtheolderadult.com. I appreciate you. I love you. And I will see you next time. Take care.